Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin. Today's video is going to talk about the Nevis to St. Kitts Cross Channel Swim for 2023. So the Nevis to St. Kitts Cross Channel Swim is a yearly event that takes place normally the last weekend in March. It sees people from all around the world come to participate and it's listed as one of the, one of the top open water swims in the world. It's a really sought after event, especially because you swim from one island to the next. So you leave Nwali Beach in Nevis and you finish at Cockeshell Beach or Reggae Beach in St. Kitts. This year, the finish line was near Spice Mill Restaurant. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about what to expect during the event, the day before the event, and upon your arrival and departure, how it works. So normally there's open entries for the event, which are open up until about two weeks before the event. Every year there's about 200 participants. This year there was approximately 16 kids young kids from St. Kitts and Nevis who accomplished the swim. As well, there's people from the UK and, near, and neighboring islands like Ceiba, Anguilla, St. Martin. A lot of people from the United States of America as well as Canada. In the past, we've seen Italians and people from New Zealand, Australia, all around the world that come to do the swim. And so <clears throat> registration, like I said, is open till about two weeks before the event just to ensure that they have enough kayaks, they have enough safety and support so that the event goes without any problems and that everyone is safe while doing the swim. So if you'd like to register for next year, I will provide the link in the description below. The Nevis to St. Kitts, St. Kitts Cross Channel Swim. It costs, depending, it costs about 60 to $110 to do the event, depending on what category you, you want to do. There is age groups, so you can do competitive, and there's different age groups for the competitive, or you could do assisted, where you can have flippers, have a flotation device, have people assist you throughout the swim to be able to accomplish it. As well, there's relays, so you can, can register for a relay. For example, this year there's a Special Olympics swimmers from Florida who came and swam the event, and they successfully swam the event in an amazing time, so it was just so great to see the Special Olympics athletes participate at the Nevis to St. Kitts Cross Channel Swim. What I particularly like about this swim is that you can see the bottom throughout the entire race. So a lot of open water races can be scary because you know, you're looking down 200 meters, you can't see anything, it's dark blue at the bottom and you're nervous about what's at the bottom. You can really see the bottom the entire way. And so actually while swimming, I did participate in the event this year and I saw seven turtles and a nurse shark and it's a really, and lots of little fish. So it's a really scenic swim. And there's, at the time of the race, there will be kayaks in the water, boats. So there'll be boats every about kilometer. The entire distance is 4.1 kilometers, but obviously you don't swim in a straight line. So some people that wear watches will record that they swim 4.4 kilometers or that they, they swim a, a longer distance. So one, you know, if you're lo looking to compete in the competitive, being a good swimmer and competitive swimmer is one thing, but also navigation is another thing that is important when doing open water swimming. And so what you can expect is the day before the event, they will have the race packet collection. So normally it's from two to four at either Wally Beach in Nevis or um, at the beach in St. Kitts. Ross University and or the Medical School University, they will have their packets delivered even more in advance and directly at their faculty. And so you come and collect your race package, which will have a t-shirt that's included. So you will have indicated the size of the t-shirt you want. You will also have your race cap and your race number and some other little goodies. But <clears throat> it's important that the color of your cap will, de will determine which category you are in. So for example, if you're female 30 to 40 or whatever the age categories are for that specific year, that'll indicate what age category and if you're racing or not, or doing assisted. And so then on the morning of the race, you will normally need to meet around 6.30 in the morning at Reggae Beach, and there'll be a big boat that will come and pick everyone up. This year, there wasn't a big boat, but there was multiple smaller boats that came and collected people that were staying in hotels in St. Kitts to come across to Nevis. Then once you get to Nevis, they'll put your race markers on. You can warm up in the water if you want. You can talk with people. A lot of the times there's local news stations that are interviewing people to ask you where you're from. 
and what your expectations are and what your goals are for the swim. And so it's a really great way to talk to other swimmers and get ready for the race and meet other people. Some people have been coming every single year for multiple years. I think one lady said she's done this 13 times. Uh, I've done it quite a few times and I have friends from St. Martin who come and who came last year, who came this year, and hopefully we'll do it again next year. And so there'll be more and more people that come to do the swim. So it's great to talk with everyone. Then they will line you up and you will <clears throat> enter um, enter a designated area so they will count all the swimmers to make sure that everyone's accounted for at the finish line. Then they will have the start where you run into the water. So it's important if you're a strong swimmer to stay at the front when you at the start and if you're someone that's assisted or slower that you just stand further back. And then the race is off and you'll see a lot of people going in completely di different directions. So some people swim left, other people swim right, some people swim straight. This year there's a really strong current so it's this, I think in my experience has been the worst conditions for this year in terms of the wind and the current. A lot of people, it added extra time for them and it was much more difficult. Sometimes there's three to four foot waves and uh, you know, you, you get knocked with the waves uh, during the swim, but normally a lot of the times, many years, it is very flat when you're swimming. So it makes it much, much easier when it's flatter. Then when you get to St. Kitts, there'll be spectators at the finish line. There'll be a big orange buoy indicating that it's the finish line. You will swim once you get out of the water, you'll run across the finish line. So some people feel a little bit disoriented when they go from swimming really hard for over 4.1 kilometers to then have to get out and walk and or run across the finish line. And then at the finish line, there'll be an announcer who will ask you how the swim was. Some people want to speak, other people are just out of breath and don't want don't want to talk on camera so that's okay and then you'll get be given most likely a towel and or a medal for finishing the swim and then everyone will wait for all the other swimmers to come in sometimes if there's other kayaks available you can go out and cheer on if you're a swimmer you can go out and cheer on other people that are coming across the finish line and there's also a breakfast available so you can have breakfast there's water and then you can socialize at the end. Some people just wanna make it from Nevis to St. Kitts just to have a beer. That's the first thing they want when they get to the finish line. And then after they have an award ceremony, so they have these turtle trophies for first, second, third place for each category. It's important to note that if you are traveling from elsewhere, it is that trophy is very heavy. So the trophy can be over five pounds. So. If you expect or you're thinking you might win, you might want to consider this when you're packing your suitcase. And overall, this event is really, really great. It's a friendly event, so it's not, uh, you know, it's not meant to be extremely competitive in the sense that it's a FINA designated competition, but that it is an event that is competitive, like if you want to do the competitive category, but it is available to anyone and it's a really highly recommended event. So you can stay at hotels in Nevis. Some people like to stay at Wally Beach Hotel because that's where the starting line is. Other people like to stay at Park Hyatt because that's near where the finish line is. Other people want to stay at the Marriott Hotel and or other hotels or Airbnbs in St. Kitts and the same with Nevis. It's nice to often coordinate if you're coming from far away to coordinate vacation. In fact, I met one guy, he flew in from the UK just to do the swim only to turn around and fly back. So you might want to consider doing it as a family event, coming on vacation and spending a couple days relaxing. You've worked hard, you've completed the swim and now it's time to relax and enjoy St. Kitts and Nevis. So I hope to see you there next year. I'll be there next year and reach out to me, jennifer at jhmarlin.com if you have any questions about the swim. Bye for now, bye.